Hi, I'm Jonathan. I am a licensed professional clinical counselor and I have worked with thousands of families and I've seen what works and I've seen what doesn't work. And I want to share with you the things that you need to know to help your family. I get asked a lot of questions and just the other day I got asked a question by these parents and I want to share their story with you because I really believe it's going to help you out because it's a very common problem. Their 10 year old son was throwing major tantrums, I mean complete meltdown tantrums and they couldn't figure out one, why he was doing it and two, what to do about it because they were extreme. I mean they were telling me he was cussing at him, he was screaming, he was slamming doors, he was flailing around on the floor like a two-year-old. He had put holes in his door, he had put holes in his wall, he had uh, been so dangerous. Actually, there was a time he was so dangerous to his siblings and they just could not control him. They actually called the police and they felt so horrible about it because the police really didn't help out much in the long term in that particular situation. Uh, but they were just, they were at a loss and they were asking me, what do we do about these tantrums? So let me tell you something. There's a very common misunderstood thing uh, with parents and tantrums. And let me break it down a little bit here. There, there's two kind of tantrums. And you got a couple of subtypes there, but there's two basic types. You have a manipulation tantrum, which is basically a calculated move by a child or a teenager or anywhere in between uh, where they're trying to get their way. And what they're trying to do is they're making a big stink about things. They're going to resist and act very immature because they believe that's what it's going to take to get what they want. And they usually do that because it has worked. It's worked in the past. It might not even work every time, but it's kind of like gambling. I'm not going to win this time. I might not win this time, but the chance that I could win, I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep trying. And those tantrums are all about manipulation. And in general, the way you handle those is you stick firm and you don't give in and you don't give it a lot of attention. It's basically like, no, that's not going to work. It, it might have worked in the past, but it's not going to work now. You can stop it, you can quit, I don't care what you do, it's not going to work. And over time, they don't get what they want and that behavior is extinguished. That's a manipulation tantrum. And parents, I mean, if you pay attention, it, you can tell the difference. I mean, it's pretty calculated and you can see why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, that is a tantrum that every kid is going to pull at some point. And then there's the other kind of tantrum. I call them a meltdown tantrum and that's basically what these parents were dealing with. Uh, sure, there might have been some manipulation going on. I mean, after all, this kid wanted to get what he wanted like all kids want, but what they were describing was really a meltdown and a meltdown is all about emotions and this is where I see most parents miss it when handling children in an emotional meltdown tantrum because they go logical. They say things like, well, of course you can't stay up all night and watch TV or play video games. I mean, do you think other kids get to do that? No, you're not going to get to do that. I tell you what, if you get it together, then you can do this or you can do that. I mean, they start to reason, they start to bargain, they start to spout facts and do all this kind of stuff. And it doesn't work because your child's brain is only on emotion. The emotional part of their brain is completely lit up and that is the only part they're thinking out of. They actually do not have the ability in that moment to reason or to be logical. And if you think about a moment, it makes sense. They are in complete emotional meltdown. The logical part of their brain is shut down. So it makes no sense to reason with them. Here's the deal. And I want you to remember this. When your child is having a meltdown tantrum, your number one goal is to calm them down. I'm not telling you to let them get away with their behavior. I'm certainly not telling you to give in and give them everything they want, but trying to reason with them, trying to be logical with them, trying to do anything other than helping them calm down is going to be ineffective. You have to get them calm and then you can go back and help them learn because ultimately this is about learning. They need to learn how to handle their, their frustrations, to tolerate their frustrations, to regulate their mood, to know what to do when they are disappointed and their emotions are getting worked up. But you have to realize when they are in that full meltdown mode, you got to calm them down. And there's many ways that you can do that. And the first thing that I want you to try is to draw close to them. Don't reason, don't logic, don't threat, don't give 
uh, emotion and anger, especially anger, all that's going to do is fuel them. You get enraged and you enrage them even more. I want you to draw close and be empathetic. I want you to say, okay, I get it. I'm so, I'm so sorry that you're frustrated by this, but I get it. You wanted to stay up and play video games, or you wanted to uh, be able to eat this for dinner, or you wanted to be able to hang out with your friends, and you can't do that. So it is so frustrating. I get it. I really understand where you're coming from. You sit down with your kids, you draw them close, and you connect with them. Of course, it's illogical to you because you're an adult and you know how to handle disappointment. You know how to handle emotion, at least better than they do. But to them, they are learning this. And they need someone to sit down and say, I get you. It's okay. Calm down. And then you can get into problem solving. Then you can get into helping them learn what they need to learn. And on the extreme situation, because I know how this goes, sometimes they go from zero to 150 just like that. And there's not much chance to calm them down. In those situations, that might be more where you step in a different room or you, you let them, it's just like a, it's a wave and it has to crash. There is nothing you can do to stop it. So you get them in their room. I mean, you make sure they're safe but you let it ride out. You let them just do what they need to do, get that energy out, and then you go in and you draw close and you talk to them and then you get to the problem solving after you've done all that. I hope that makes sense. Um, it, there's a lot more that goes into that. I got a resource for you. Actually, there is so much more than what I gave you in this video. Those are the general points, but this book right here, can you see it? Zoom in on that. The Explosive Child by Dr. Green. Please do not get the title mixed up. That is not about children with explosive diarrhea. It's actually about emotional explosions. And it's a really good book. Um, there is a specific area in that book that uh, he calls it collaborative problem solving. And it's basically the approach that I described, but in much more detail, and he does an excellent job. I do recommend that book. It tells you how to recognize the difference between uh, the, the two types of tantrums. I think he uses different terminology, but it's basically you know the manipulation tantrum versus the emotional meltdown tantrum, and then what to do, how you calm your child down, and then how you problem solve. And he's got a great technique, a great step-by-step -step, uh, with a lot of examples of how you do that. I strongly recommend that book. I will put the link in my notes and on my website for anyone who wants to check that out. So there you go. I know that's going to help you out. And if you have more questions, please ask me and please uh, sign up for my email or subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, because when I put stuff out, you're going to know about it right away. Thanks, guys. I will talk to you soon. And remember, your family needs you. Don't give up.